Tales of Pirates 2023. We're gonna do some gameplay, we're gonna check out the cash up, the monetization, the features, and some updates on what's happening to Tales of Pirates nowadays. Where can you play? And we're gonna do a Tales of Pirates gameplay from the beginning to show you guys what it's like playing the game from the start. Tales of Pirates is a tap target pirate themed MMORPG. And with that said, let's do this. Welcome back, Saviors, GH here. Before we play the game from the beginning, first, what is Tales of Pirates? It's a tab targeting MMORPG with pirates at its central theme. The game is comical in nature and has humorous looking characters and creatures. And the game's scenery is splashed with bright and beautiful colors everywhere. In this game, you can choose from four unique characters, each with their own unique name and classes associated with them. And you can customize your character's appearance and equipment to suit your playstyle. In Tales of Pirates, the progression of your character is tied to their level and equipment. As you complete quests, defeat monsters, and engage in battles, you will learn experience points that contribute to your character's level. As you level up, you will unlock new skills and abilities, allowing you to take on more challenging enemies. You can approach the game's progression in two main ways. The first is by grinding through battles to gain experience points and level up your character. Alternatively, you can choose to complete quests, which offers a more structured and varied experience. In addition, Tales of Pirate features a mentor system that allows veteran players to help newer players progress more quickly. By partnering with a mentor, you can gain valuable advice and assistance in navigating the game's challenges, unlocking new opportunities for progression. In return, mentors receive rewards for their efforts in helping newer players. One unique feature of Tales of Pirates is its ship system. Players can obtain and customize their own ship, which offers a multitude of benefits. Ship allows players to explore the game's vast world, engage in naval battles, and even fish for rare ingredients and quest items. They can also be used to transport players to different locations and avoid expensive teleport fees. Ships offers a unique combat experience allowing players to attack, land, and sea monsters alike. The ship system is an essential part of the game's progression as it provides access to rare resources and opportunities to level up both the player character and their ship simultaneously. Tales of Pirates is released in March 15, 2007 globally and it was shut down officially in February 29, 2016. Nowadays, you can only play it in private servers. The exact reason for the shutdown of Tales of Pirates in 2016 is not stated. However, it is common for online games to eventually shut down due to a combination of factors such as declining player populations and increasing server costs. But uh, I was there when IGG was shutting down games left to right. And it's because they're prioritizing mobile games over their PC titles. Tales of Pirates is published by IGG or I Got Games and it's developed by Moly an online entertainment developer and operator based in China. The keyword Tales of Pirates is at its peak popularity in 2007 at the time when pirate-themed entertainment was all the rage. One of the biggest contributors to this trend was the Pirates of the Caribbean film franchise, which had its third installment, Pirates of the Caribbean at World's End, released in the same year. The film was a massive box office success, grossing almost a billion dollars worldwide. Now, here's an update on what's happening to Tales of Pirates nowadays. It's dead officially, but you can play it on private servers, which, believe it or not, it's still somewhat getting updates. Look at this. Here is the Pirate King Online use page. And after scrolling this, I found out that on April 2, 2022, Pirate King Online released a new update called the Frozen Relic Part 3, Aurora. The update added new mazes to the game located in the Aurora area and the Dark Area Twin Islands. Now, both of the zones contains two levels with unique monsters and bosses that players must defeat to progress. The update also introduced a variety of rewards for defeating bosses at different maze levels. Now, as usual, some are gonna ask if there's a mobile version. Yes, there is. And there it goes. It's not an official server. And as you see, it's straight out Tales of Pirates, but with mobile interface. In my opinion, this is great because it's the same MMORPG ported to mobile. Now, going back to Tales of Pirates, the game we're playing, to show you more of the features and what the game has to offer, let's go play the game from the start. Let's go play the game. Okay, guys, here's the character creation. There goes Sora over there, training. 
with a keyblade and there goes another kingdom of parts character over here female character there goes the giga chad with a sakat and this one is donald duck okay so we're gonna play as the female character and by the way guys before i select the female character each of these characters guys got its own classes let's check out the male character first there it goes the character is called lance newbie now let's go back now this donald duck over here is amy newbie and there goes the giga chad the class advancement is very limited there it goes. Now the female character. Let's go. Phyllis. Phyllis. Okay, next. There goes a character. Let's name a character. Hairdo. How many hairdo? Here's the character customization, guys. There's eight hairdos. How many faces? Eight faces. Okay, let's pick a hairdo. Let's pick this one. Accept. Okay, I think this is the part where we select the starting area. Okay, so we're gonna pick Argent City. Because I kind of know how to play when I'm on Argent City. I hardly go to these other places. Maybe next year. We'll go over there. <laughs> okay, let's go Argent City. Confirm. And we are in the game interface steps. Close. Whatever that is. Close, close, close. Complete. We can't... Okay, so there goes our character. We're not wearing anything. Okay, so movement, guys. Can we WSD? No, it's typing. How do we stop this? Okay, so we can't move with WSD. We can only move with point and click. Click to move, guys. Can we move the camera freely? So we can somewhat move the camera, but it's mainly top down. We can zoom in and zoom out. And super zoom out. Okay, so not too zoomed out. Okay, this one. Now let's check out our bag for beginner support boxes. We got armors over here, boots, and a weapon. A newbie chest that we can only open if we're level 5. Okay, so equip the gears. Now we have gears. Equip the boots. Okay. Okay, guys, you have to listen to this. If you're going to play the game, please listen. The first thing that you need to do here is go find the newbie helper. I think it's called newbie guide. Yeah, not newbie helper. Okay, so it's around here. Look at this. There's a lot of people playing this game, guys. This is a somewhat active MMORPG. It's such a shame that there's no longer an official version for this. Okay, there goes the newbie guide. Talk to her. She's gonna give you a few quests. Welcome quest complete. And instantly, we're level 2. Exit out of this. Let's check out our quest. We have no quest. I guess we need to take a quest. Okay, there goes the blacksmith quest, guys. Take this. Accept. Now, this is an important part, guys. Listen. Our quest is we need to find the blacksmith. Send the letter to blacksmith Goldie in Argent City at 2193-2706. So, that's the coordinates, guys. And I would like to say that there are some quests in this game, guys, with typos. Yeah. Man, I remember the first time I played, I was following this coordinates and I didn't know that there was a typo. I was roaming around the map. I can't find the NPC. Turns out the coordinates is wrong. Okay, anyway, just please keep in mind that sometimes the coordinates given by the quest is wrong. Especially if you can find it if you entered the right coordinates given. Okay, so there goes the coordinates, right? What you need to do here is click this down arrow over here, the radar. Over here at the minimap. Look at the minimap. There it goes. I'm clicking the radar and this one is gonna pop out. This region over here is called Ascaron. The icicle region is called Deep Blue and the other one is Magical Ocean. We're on Ascaron so we're gonna type the coordinates here. 2193 and then 2706. Confirm. And when we press confirm, as you see guys, there's an arrow. This is gonna help you find the blacksmith. Man, this could have been done automatically when you accepted the quest but I guess they couldn't be bothered. Okay, anyway, let's look for the blacksmith. Follow the arrow. And there was the blacksmith. Sometimes this blacksmith doesn't appear. <laughs> I remember this. The first time I played, this blacksmith is not there. Okay, let's take a quest from this guy. Give her the letter. Now we need to go back and talk to the newbie guide. This is some kind of a leveling guide, guys. If you're going to play the game. From level 1 to level 6, keep doing the quest given by the newbie helper over here. I mean, ugh, man. I keep saying newbie helper, newbie guide. Okay, turn over the quest. You're gonna do this up to level 6. As you see, we're level 3. When you reach level 6... Go outside, look for a lamb. Go outside the town. Okay, here's the map, guys. Right? Go over here, look for a lamb, and just hunt it down until you get to level 9. Or maybe level 8. Then maybe look for another monster that's gonna give you a little bit better EXP. Okay, close this. What's our quest again? Okay, take a quest from this one. Oh, accept. Now we need to find the tailor. Okay, these are easy quests, guys. So... We need to open up the radar to put the coordinates. The coordinates of the tailor is 2267 and then 2704. Confirm. And there goes the arrow. It's pointing over there. Let's follow it. As you can see, guys, the game is very active. There's a lot of people vending. And there are even people over here hanging out. Let's close in. Look at that. You can somewhat dress up in this game. Not as in-depth as modern MMOs, but this is good enough. And there goes the tailor. Interact with the tailor. Complete. 
Now go back to the newbie guide. As you can see guys, the arrow doesn't disappear. Ignore that after you interacted with the tailor, with the NPC or target NPC. Just follow the guide. It's important here guys that you need to read the quest details because this game hardly helps you play the game. <laughs> okay, anyway, this is how old MMORPG is in before. Okay, turn over the quest, complete. We're now level 4. As you can see, we're leveling very fast by just interacting with this NPC. Oh, except, now we need to talk to the physician. Open up the radar again. The coordinates of the physician is 22550, then 2770. Okay, confirm. Follow the arrow. The arrow is pointed over here. There goes the physician. Complete the quest. Now go back to the newbie helper to turn it over. Complete. Okay, now take another quest from the newbie helper. Battle training, guys. Combat. Oh, accept. Now, this is where the coordinates disappear. There are some quests in here that doesn't have any coordinates, guys. So you gotta read this quest detail. And I kinda already know this. The quest details is very vague. The NPC is telling me to go outside my comfort zone. <laughs> I guess she meant outside the city. We need to hunt down five forest spirits and bring back a pair of wings. Okay, it's just over here. Forest spirits. And look at that. People illegal logging. <laughs> okay, let's hunt down spirits. And yeah, I forgot. Before you fight, put some stats, guys. Okay, let's put some stats. How do we open up the stats again? There goes Alt A. Let's put some strength. I don't really know what class I'm going to pick. Man, I kind of want to pick Hunter. <laughs> we already put strength. Is there a Dex here? Maybe a QRC. Ah, uh, okay. Anyway, we're just doing a guide. Okay, combat guys. As you can see, it's tab target. When I press tab, nothing happens. <laughs> they did this because in before, botting was a problem in this game. And pressing tab makes it easier for botters to bot. But the combat over here, guys, is tab targeting. Oh, we need to get some wings too. Okay, get the wings. Loot. How many more forest spirits? Okay, we got a pair of wing. We should be good to go. Probably. When we turn over the quest, we're gonna be level 6. When you're level 6, guys, start just grinding only. Ignore the quest. It's kind of tedious. Look for a lamb. You can find a lamb over here. Just over here. It's usually close to these forest spirits. Okay, let's look for the lamb. I probably shouldn't go look for the lamb yet because I think I can't fight it. Yeah, we need to turn over the quest. So anyway, at level 6, it's where the grinding starts. You're gonna grind up to level 9 because at level 9, the class change starts. You need to talk to the newbie helper again and she's gonna give you a quest that's gonna take you to the class change quest. She's gonna help you advance to the next job. As for the grinding guys, it's pretty straightforward. If you're level 6, Go find a monster that's one level higher than you or two levels higher than you if you can defeat the monster that's two levels higher than you. So that's that. It's very easy to follow the grinding here. There's another way to level up fast here is through mentors. Of course, if you're gonna ask somebody to mentor you, you're gonna level up very fast. There's a mentor system here, guys, wherein if a veteran helps you level up, he's also gonna get something. I think if I remember correctly, it's gonna help him with the rebirth, something like that. Cash up time guys, Tales of Pirates monetization. By the way guys, we're playing on the Pirate King Online servers because it's the first server that you will see on Google. There are other private servers but it's not on English so I decided to play here. Okay, anyway, here goes the cash up over here, this card. Click this, confirm. There goes the cash up. The cash up currency is called rum and 10 rums is 1 USD. Now. We're gonna check out the fruits because the fruits are the boost, guys. EXP boost, drop rate boost, everything boost helps you progress faster in the game. There it goes. This berry is for the EXP. This charmed berry over here is for double drop rate. Okay, so now let's move on to the forging. This is the one that you wanna see. Okay, so those stuff. Okay, let's proceed to the second page. There it goes. Refining catalyst. You want to see this? This one increases forging success rate for one minute. If you're forging, you're gonna need this refining catalyst. And it's kind of cheap. How many minutes? One minute? Okay. So this next item over here is increases composition success rate for one minute. There it goes. Now this level 4 insurance card over here. This is the item that prevents your equipment from disappearing if you fail forging. There it goes. Of course, level 5 is the same. Now the apparels, guys, are just cosmetics. Let's check out some of it. Winter Grand. Try. There it goes. Ooh, I can really see it here. Oh, this is cool. Look at this. We can try it out over here. Look at this costumes. I like this. I thought I'm gonna have to <laughs> deal with this small preview over here. Hey, look at this. It's previewing on our character. How about this? Bruce tights. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay, now tickets. 
Now, in the ticket tab, guys, turns out these are all teleportation items. Now, in the character, okay, character customization items for the luxury hairstyles. And what? There's also a 28 slot inventory. Inventory bag expansion, guys. They're also selling inventory bag expansions. And I tell you, managing your bag here is a nightmare. Because look at this. Oh, wait. I can't open up my bag. Well, anyway, you've seen the bag. It's very limited. Now, what else can we check out here? All of this are cosmetics and some sale. Ultimate sale slot bundle. Increased inventory slots. Okay, more inventory bag expansion. I hope you saw what you needed to see. And that's Tales of Pirates in 2023. It's still playable. There's a decent amount of people playing on this server, roaming around and interacting with each other. And guys, do you want to see the top 10 MMORPG based on Google Trends? There it goes on the screen. Leave a like before you go. And this is Game Hardcore. See you in the next one.